We had a brilliant start to the season last episode, defeating the first three teams that we faced ever in the La Liga, Cadiz, Real Betis and Atletico Madrid respectively. One thing in common with these three matches is that we were able to come up with the winner at the dying stages of the match. Yes, we are the ultimate clutch team, that's what ZM Cohetes is right now and Next up, we have Real Madrid on our radar, and this one is going to be a lot of fun. We have to at least wait to go it because I know for a fact that we like winning this match is going to be a long shot, but it's not going to be possible. But I just want to be realistic here and try to fight for at least a draw in this match. But if we win it, we will stamp our place as the next threat in La Liga. So I did change the formation a bit, as you guys can see here. I actually moved German and Kovacevic to wingers because normally they actually central attacking midfielder because I was playing three attacking midfielders rather than one attacking midfielder and two wingers but I've changed that to two wingers now and let's see if this will actually solve the problem of them not making the forward runs that I require testing this theory against Real Madrid is actually kind of a long shot but I mean there's really nothing that we can do with there I mean they're next in going to face and let's just hope that we can at least try our best to get a good result in this match the only change I'm making to the starting 11 in this match is Bustos coming in for batch and the team looks absolutely set, but there's one thing I have to change here, which is the kits. I'm going to go for our alternate here because, I mean, it completely contrasts Real Madrid White. And it really, it still really sucks that we don't get sponsors in this year's creative club, but really nothing we can do about that. Okay, we are in the Santiago Bernabeu. This is the first time that we're going to be played in this amazing stadium. And this is going to be really fucking scary, to be honest, but... I mean, we just have to be able to do our best here and come out with the win. Real Madrid versus ZM Cohetes, and this is going to be the match of this first half of the season. I don't think there's a tougher opponent in the La Liga right now than Real Madrid. Alright, Benzema kicks off and goes straight to Modric here. And let's see if German can get his first goal for the club here with his new position. And just like that, we got, we got absolutely raped. Okay, yeah, that was what? That was definitely not a free kick. Okay, so what's Tony Cruz going to do here? Um, I guess he's the one I'm going to play it. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, that was... That was fucking scary. To be honest. Okay, so this is his chance, finally. He should be able to score it. He should be able to score this. Thank you. So finally, German gets his very first goal for the club, and I just knew that the problem was the fact that he was playing as an attacking midfielder rather than a winger. I mean, he, he is an attacking midfielder, and I will have to do the development schedule after this because that might have been what was hindering him. And now that we know that he can get goals, then he's definitely going to be staying in that left wing position now. Let's be frank here, I'm, I'm, I'm really not expecting to win this match. And if we do, I might have to bump the difficulty up to ultimate if we do. Because, okay, I might have spoken too soon. <laughs> and just like that, they scored immediately. I mean, all we can do is just try and keep possession. I mean, keeping possession against Real Madrid is going to be really hard. But, see, there you go. I wasn't even done talking. Okay, so this is a chance that is opened up for them. And that was really good defending from Helvig there. And followed up properly by that guy. So let's see what we can do here we can just cross it probably and yeah, the cross was too much for him it was too far there was really nothing that he could, he could do there and Helvig is actually holding Vinicius quite well I have no idea what the fuck Kovacic just did there like I literally have no idea what this guy just did there and please know thank you but that was close and it's really hard to keep possession against Real Madrid to be honest because I just have to make sure that he doesn't get the pass he's looking for there. And yes. Okay, I give it to Ah fuck. So we literally cannot I mean it's like it's like they're not passing well at all. Honestly, it's like they actually aren't passing well. We're almost at half time, so Okay, so we have a breather here. It's one one at halftime at the Bernabeu and we are actually holding our own against Real Madrid here. That is quite good. They've had a bunch of opportunities, but they weren't able to capitalize on them. And we are lucky enough to still be 1-0 one, one at the break. All right, so we kick off at halftime. I mean, we are looking for the win, obviously, but I'm not really so psyched about it because it just, it most probably wouldn't come. And um, can you like make that run? Thank you. I mean, you should get there or, or not. 
Oh, crap. How did he even get that? How did he even get the header? That is so fucking weird. And why does that keep happening? That's the second time in this particular series that has happened. I mean, I, I'm obviously not passing straight to the opposition there. Like, it makes no fucking sense at all. Okay, that was good. And we're still with the ball here. And of course, Kovacic is losing the fucking ball. I, no, I hate this guy so much right now. Like, I do not like, I do not like the way he's playing right now. So I think I might have to risk and put Kovacic, sorry, I put Kallenberg there, and then maybe bring on. I think most likely to play in this position. I think I'm just going to give one of these guys a chance. I'll give Alvarez because Kovacic is actually pissing me off because I mean he's playing so fucking slow and he's like so fucking sloppy compared to the others, and he's, he's like he's like making me lose. Opportunities that I shouldn't really be losing. That was a good save from Van Dree. Yet again, this guy like needs an actual award. Come on, make the run, make the run, make the bloody run. Shit. Alright, so I'm going to bring in Flores for Helbig here because he's basically done, and I'm bringing Batch in for a booster. So I think that was basically all the substitutions I want to make in this match because the rest of the players in this team are in this um on the bench are actually not capable in my opinion. I don't want them to annoy me as much as Kovacic is annoying me right now. A miracle can happen in this later stages of the match. It's Donovan against... That was a fucking good save. I mean, Donovan against Benzema, I, I wasn't putting my... I wasn't placing my bet on Donovan in any way. And uh, a, a really good save and really good reaction from Van Dray. Alright, they take his shorts. And yeah, we actually almost got the ball there. Okay, we can't let them shoot. We can't let him shoot. Okay, give it to, give it back to Fonseca, please. Make some sort of run, I beg of you. Thank you. Fucking hell. We actually, we actually get the goal. We actually get the goal. We find <laughs> Whoa. I mean, it's not at the death, but it's still after 18 minutes and. That was a really good pass to find him out and the ball was actually played behind him but he was still able to adjust his body and play it to the bottom left corner. I mean, it was almost a chip to be honest and the keeper just wasn't ready for that. Alright, he's, he's, he's trying to go and score right now but nope. No, it, what are these guys doing? What the hell? I swear to God, if they score me there, I'm going to be so pissed. It is looking pretty dangerous right now. I don't want to leave... Fucking hell, I didn't want to give him space. I didn't want to give him space. Fuck. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I didn't want to give him space. I mean, I was looking at Modric. I have no name that was Modric that was beside him. I mean, Modric and Bleachers were beside him, but I didn't want to give them space. Fuck, I mean, I should have probably just gone for Benji much people. But it was, a, it was a good finish, though. There's no way, there's no way he was. There's no way he was missing that. From there, Benzema, there's no way he's missing that. Especially with the AI. Alright, so that was really good for them at the death, and I have no idea what the fuck I did just now. If they if they win this match, that's gonna be so annoying. If they win this match, that would be so annoying and overrated. I swear to god. I have to defend like my life depends on it right now. And of course, of course! Oh my fucking god! That did not just happen. That, that was the most obvious shit ever. That was the most obvious storyline ever. <laughs> <laughs> or my dude actually came from behind. Again. I got the final goal to win it. I mean, I tried my best, but the defense just got so fucking flustered. I mean, Modric had to do that. He had to do that to get the goal. And you know what? I'm not going to complain. I mean, it's fucking Real Madrid. It's expected. It's really, it's really fucking expected. Alright, so that's basically it for the match. Nothing else for us to do here. And it was a good match, to be honest. I wasn't expecting to win from the beginning. I just really wanted to give 
my players hope. We ended up losing the match 3-2. They pushed the ultimate push team. That's basically what just happened. I really can't complain of the outcome of that match. Our defenders are not properly equipped to handle that sort of attacking power from a team like Real Madrid. But we were actually able to hold out till the final minutes where we conceded two goals. That could have been avoided, but shit happens with football. But what we have to do is focus on the match at hand, which is Valencia, and try not to dwell on the results against Real Madrid. There's really nothing we could do about that. And actually put Cabrera in for to back to this time. And he's a striker, so he has a minus three on that right wing position but i really do not like what Kovacevic did in the last match both on camera and off camera it was really annoying how to give Cabrera a chance at first in action here if he actually does way better than Kovacevic they can actually get that spot onto Rise Donvac all right we are at the Estadio de Cohetes for the match against Valencia it's definitely not going to be as hard as the match against Real Madrid so I mean you should be able to get the win here we have three wins and one loss in four games in La Liga here and this should be the fourth win undoubtedly i mean we just have to go all out here it's the playable highlights i'm doing attack only at that and we should have majority of the attacking options and of course we start with a counter attack we have german going all out there and yeah he, he ends up with the ball and of course that happens what the fuck i think that we won't even oh we actually do get to play the free kick we actually do get to play the free kick caliber is the best and i hope this actually works i mean it was a target it was a target but there, there there wasn't that much power next up we have a free kick in the 27th minute and it's going to be i'm going to put kallenberg on this because i mean obviously he's the best free kick taker and i see german ready for that i see fonseca at the far end of the post and that's i want to go for german here and i mean it was a it was a good chance he actually tried to wind up to the to the header but i mean it just wasn't able to happen we have another attack here we have a lot of attacks in the first half and well let's just try and calm down here and do this one right all right so we lose the ball there we have um german and fonseca here and I'm just going to cut in a bit and give Fonseca the ball to... What the hell? Why, why, why are you delaying that so much? But well, we have a penalty here and Fonseca is going to be the one taking it. Let's hope that we don't mess this up. It's actually really, really spot on. And yep, no way we're missing that. That is his fourth goal this season. And I mean, the penalties are so much better this time. It's less tempting, to be honest. You actually aren't at risk of throwing the ball out of the out of the post unless you actually fuck up the timing, which is more realistic in my opinion. So we have um, Fonseca at the near post there, and I mean, he might be the one I'm aiming for, but he he's not the one that gets the ball at the end of the day. That was our actual. But we do win the match one 0 It wasn't really a close finish, but we, it was a finish and we were able to get the win so that was that was a really nice match and we could have gotten way more goals it's just that the control and the agility of these players right now aren't really all that but we're actually able to get win after win and that's good enough in my opinion so our next match is against Osasuna and I have no idea why almost all the teams in La Liga have white jerseys but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be simming this one with our first team obviously I'm giving Kovacevic another chance I really didn't see anything that um, this guy did what's his name Cabrera did in the last match because it was basically highlights so he didn't really have any highlights of his own or stuff like that but we do win the match who scores Kovacevic is the one that scores this time up next we have the final match in September against Verona FC and we're going to be using our away kit this time there's a couple changes to the starting eleven. we have Cabrera coming in for Kovacevic Torres coming in for Batch and Lozano coming in for Zaracho. This match shouldn't really be that tough. It should be mid or something like that. I have no idea how Girona plays. I actually don't watch La Liga in real life. I actually have no idea how good these teams are apart from Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid and Sociedad over Villarreal as well. So I'm actually going into these matches hoping that these teams are not good enough to give me a run for my money. I'm just going to see how good these teams are as I play them. This is the last match of the episode though and I'm playing the full match of it and I mean this is a chance for Cabrera to show me what he's got and, and if he actually does well then this guy is going to be getting the all right and that is the first fucking goal i was legit just talking about how well this guy is supposed to play and he comes up with that that was an absolute banger of a goal what the hell 
I mean, from where I was not even expecting that it was, I didn't even pass it. It was actually just a, a deflection that took the ball to his path. And there he is, banging a goal like that. That is fucking crazy. So, I mean, I have one more target in the front now. If he can actually continue that, that run of form, then that will actually be different. I have no idea how, how old he is, though. He's 28, so he doesn't really have time on his hands. But, I mean, that really shouldn't be a problem. We should get, our team should be really good by the time he wants to log out of, ex of existence of existence all right so we end up with the ball there i know i definitely took an advantage of heights so that was actually really good to be able to salvage that and ha, for foxy for foxy this guy his, his, his reactions are so slow i mean like I, I give him an instruction and it takes like forever for him to actually do it. His passes are also really slow. What the fuck? That that would be really good anticipated tackle. But that was insane. That save was fucking insane. What the hell? How the hell do you even save that? Alright, so they took it short and what? That was close. That that was so close to being a penalty. I actually should lay off the stand tackles for now because I mean I might actually just give up something. Oh, he actually he actually got it. That's nice. All right, first half and I have to say I'm quite disappointed with the start. I mean we're one 0 up, but I mean I feel like we could have done so much better. That goal we're just really lucky that Cabrera was in that position at that particular time, and that was what got us the goal. Can you see? Can you see? I'm I'm, I'm literally trying to do shit here. And these guys are so slow, like they take 10 years before they actually respond to what I tell them to do. And yet another really awesome save from Kaiva Dre. To be honest, I, as in this guy, he actually deserves he actually deserves to be in a way better team than this because the defense, the defending is so fucking shit. The defending the attack, I'm, I mean I'm having a tough time trying to do anything. Like legit, I'm having an actual tough time trying to do anything like look at that that pass was so unnecessarily slow like bro come on yeah this could be a very good chance and the keeper saves it that was a really good save for the keeper i mean i could have probably gone closer and done something way better than that but i mean i just didn't want anything to catch up to us i'm going to play to donovan here and let's see if he can get the goal no he doesn't i'll give it back to kovacevic and Far post, but it got, it got blocked by Herrera, and now we have another corner. I mean, I want to give it to Fonseca, but he's too far. But but we still have another chance here for Fonseca, and no, nah, it doesn't it doesn't get to him. But that was a good a good towering header. And what the fuck is that? What the actual fuck is that? Why are these guys like unable to do anything though? These guys are legit unable to do anything. I'm not bringing to watch everything too much. I'm so fucking pissed at him. I really expect these guys to do a lot better. I mean, they are, they are really fucking me up. They are fucking me up so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't, I can't actually believe, I can't actually believe that happened. And, and you guys just see that. I mean, these guys are not even trying to keep the ball right now. They are legit not trying to keep the fucking ball right now. I think to God, if these guys score after, after all this, I'm going to be so fucking close, to be honest. Okay, so we have a good chance here for Fonseca and there's no way he's missing that. Top right corner, there's no way people are getting that bullet. And 2 0. I didn't even want to try and control the ball because I just had a feeling that they would collect it from me. If, if I just like made one extra touch, they were legit going to collect the ball from me. So I, mean, I just had to take the shot immediately. Okay. And that was that was a really good chance that got wasted by by German there. That was his chance. A very, very big chance at that, but I mean that happened. Alright, so I would like to think that this should be a short goal. I mean, no way he's missing this. No fucking way he's missing that. I mean, I even did a power shot at that because I did not want any shit to happen there. I didn't want, like, I didn't want the people to be taking the ball or anything. I just had to 
do it as fast as possible and there was no way he was actually going to get that all right so this is looking like a pretty good win away from home and this guy is trying to score why well, that's i doubt i doubt what how did he how did he miss that completely oh my god did you guys just see that did you guys just fucking see that did you guys just fucking see that we're so fucking lucky to come out into the clean sheets because i mean they deserve to score that but i mean they just i mean it just wasn't their day to be honest because my team played absolutely fucking shit in this match but we somehow managed to win the match 3-0 i'm really not happy with the way this match went because there were lots of things that i feel like could have gone way better or one the the reaction time is so fucking slow it's so slow and it's so annoying there are so many things that i could have done but i just couldn't because the players are so goddamn sluggish so we've played seven matches we've won six and lost one we're at 18 points right now just two ahead of real madrid and villarreal barcelona is all the way down at 11th i have no idea what the fuck their season is about but before we end the episode i want to hire a new scout just so that i can start looking for youth players i want to fire this guy because he's really not all that good and i'm going to get this guy jason boss from netherlands he is all five stars and that is really good for me so let's send him all the way out to his country let's start with netherlands and i'm going to go for any and then for umberto santoro we are going to send him to spain our country right now let's make that nine months or let's just keep it at six months because we have already started the season of course all the players in here are absolutely fucking shit i'm going to release all of them because i really do not want weak people like this in my squad in my team because we're in this car mode for the long run it's good to see that the match sharpness is already at 89 i have no idea why the team is still acting sluggish but i think it's time for me to replace this guy with cabrera i mean he has done really well in this episode alone just by that one goal that he scored that was what has put him straight into the starting level because kovacevic has not gotten a goal since that first match of preseason so anyway this is the end of the episode if you guys have enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'll be posting these videos daily and let me know what you think about the team and i'll see you guys in the next video peace